Ah, <laughs> yeah, I fooled ya. We're not gonna do the woody today, but I do have wood. What I do have is a Tektronix TDS 210. Bought second hand off eBay, and as you'll notice with my little pointy finger earlier, it's got a broken knobby. The horizontal position knob has been broken. So, um, well, I, I wanted to just sort of A, see if I could fix the knobby. So I 3D printed a few different sized knobbies. I knew it was broken when I bought it, uh, and I didn't know whether it was the big knob or the little knob. So I printed a few big knobs and a few little knobs. Um, and yeah, a few of you are gonna watch this video and go, oh my goodness, what is he doing? Why is he doing this? This is just really bonkers. He's drilling holes. Yes, he is. He's drilling holes. He's putting super glue. Um, and basically, he's, he's screwing in a screw. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's going to do. Crazy guy. Uh, using two screwdrivers here, by the way, just to hold that, um, uh, stop that uh, knob from rotating. But ultimately, the panel that sits behind here with all of the uh, encoders on it, which those knobbies connect to, uh, is a panel that um, those encoders are, are physically fixed to. If you replace it, you have to replace the entire panel, which really sucks. So uh, anyway, good news. Um, my bodge, my bodge job has fixed it. And to be fair, it doesn't look a million miles away from what it should. So I'm sort of happy with that. So there it is, my slightly dodgy 3D printed knob. <laughs> I'm slightly out of focus and some serious camera stuff going on here. I was quite happy with that, to be honest. And I'm, I'm also quite happy with the oscilloscope. Uh, so without further ado, we best get on and test the, the blessed thing, hadn't we? So um, I do have uh, another scope, uh, one of these uh, USB scopes, which to be honest is absolutely rubbish. Um, so having a real-time scope like this is it just makes everything so much easier you know all of your adjustments are instant you can see what you're doing instantly and yes that knob works um, and uh, you can you can also see here that the uh, probe calibration looks good so that's five volts a division um, sorry it's one volt a division at the moment and it's a total of five volts so it's five divisions and uh, the frequency, I think, is about 8 kilohertz, something like that. So what I'm doing really is just sort of um, uh, honing in there on the on the leading edge of that uh, of that waveform, just to see, you know, how clean that waveform is, because that's the calibration or the probe compensation waveform that comes out of the uh, the little calibration circuit on the front of the uh, on the front of the oscilloscope there, and that'll give you a good idea whether or not things are working properly or whether things are, are, are broken so anyway the idea behind buying this scope was uh, to get one so that i could use it to fix other bits and pieces that are coming into the shop here um, including the woody the woody's going to be an interesting project it really is so uh so that should be quite good fun oh yeah look, look there's two volts per division one two and a half divisions yes indeed and then we've got 50 milli uh sorry 250 microseconds multiplied by four divisions so yeah that's one kilohertz so there it is the wonderful tektronix scope and yeah that's what it's going to help me fix i hope it's going to help me fix the atari um so yeah and this thing is in pretty pretty poor nick to be honest if you look at it um you know none of the switches and knobs sort of clunk and click as they as they should do they're all a bit goopy and this is going to be a bit of a restoration i would like this atari to look quite cool by the time i'm done with it uh so and obviously work <laughs> it already looks quite cool but i'd like it to work properly so uh, yeah anyway there we go so as always thanks ever so much for watching hope you have a wonderful wonderful week please do not hesitate to give us a good old thumbs up do not hesitate to subscribe and uh, please uh, perhaps put some comments in down below perhaps you also own a tektronix scope or perhaps you've got a woody and um, maybe you've had some experience of fixing those woodies and know what goes wrong commonplace so uh, yeah please go ahead and uh, leave us a comment or two uh, down below awesome cheers take care have a good one bye